This video is going to be about your ship via list that you create. When you have a ship via list, it's generally because you are either receiving goods in or when you sell it to your customer, how your customer wants it shipped, right? So you know when you purchase something, you can say, I want it shipped three-day air, FedEx second day, UPS ground, whatever the case may be. Um, the ship via list is very important, okay? So it describes from the office, the salesperson, down to the warehouse, how this item needs to be shipped without having to go and tell them. So we have up here under our lists, company and profile, company and vendor profile list, and then we have our ship via list down here. When I open it up, it shows me my different options, Airborne, DHL, FedEx, UPS. To create a new one, you just open it up here, say you know, FedEx second day. Okay, and we can go ahead and create a new one, FedEx ground. Okay, so what you can do, uh, notice what I've found in these lists is frequently my customers have a couple, like I have Federal Express and then I have FedEx ground. So when I'm on a transaction and I'm creating an invoice, let me go ahead and customize this. Let me go ahead and customize this and add the uh, ship via information to this invoice. All right, so we want to go ahead and add that to the screen here. So ship via, you know, somebody's in here and they're creating this invoice. It's kind of confusing. Wait, it's FedEx ground, but why wouldn't I just choose Federal Express? So what you want to do is make sure and keep that list clean because if you're running a report to see how many transactions you've shipped via FedEx or how many you've shipped via UPS, all right, then uh, you want to make sure to keep it as clean as possible. You don't want to have a whole bunch of duplicates in here. So what you can do is, first of all, you cannot, if I go in here and edit this, and copy, okay, and edit this, and paste that exact name under. It's not like the vendor list or the customer list where it'll let us merge the names, all right? All you can do in this situation is right-click on the item that you want to uh, make an active. Go ahead and make it an active. Now, you can try deleting it, too. Uh, deleting it will make it so that yeah, you can only delete it if it hasn't been used on any transactions. Um, but if it has been used on transactions, making it inactive is just as good. All right, so that is the ship via list.